Hi everybody, this is Black Pixie and I am back with another video. I did a video on this one and it showed a um, little short clip, a little short um, news clip of um, journalists questioning um, people at the school about it and for the most part they just, oh well, shouldn't bring on the school. Because y'all agree you shouldn't bring on the school. But this is an article that talks about um, what I was saying. Why the dad did what he did. And according to the article it says, the father says, I want to see the guy who slammed my son. And it says, Florida father got an unexpected FaceTime call from his son on Monday, prompting an angered reaction that left him facing charges. Christopher Friedman, 27, got the call from his crying son around 3 p.m. The boy was in class at Bear Lake Middle School at the time, according to WPTW Middle School. Why are teachers slamming little children? Anyway, the son told his dad that a teacher had slammed him and the call ended when an adult grabbed the child, causing him to drop his phone. Freeman later got a call from the school assistant principal. He told the administrator, if this isn't my son, you're all dead. If this isn't my son, you are all dead. Okay. Around 4 p.m., the father went to the school and was stopped by a resource officer. Now, you know, schools tend not to call the parent when things go down with children. But because this boy was on the phone with his dad, I figured that principal, like, oh, yeah, I need to get ahead of this. You know, and try to make up something, I suppose. I guess this is a picture of the school. Now, Freeman appeared to have the handle of a gun sticking out of his pant. How you got an AK-47 sticking out of your pant? It's not possible. Anyway, South Florida Sun Sentinel reports the father year. I want to see the guy who slammed my son. I've got something for him. Freeman was taken outside and the school was put on cold red lockdown. A police search revealed the dad had an AK-47 mini Draco pistol and a 30-round magazine. <laughs> what are you going to do, put 30 rounds in that one man? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I won't say what I'm thinking about 30 rounds in, in a particular human body. But anyway, when questioned, the father said that he didn't know guns Run a lot on school property and forgot that he had the weapon on him. Okay. Okay. Freeman said he never intended to actually hurt anyone with the AK-47. He was arrested and charged with disrupting a school function. The, disrupt the disruption was when the teacher slammed the child and then grabbed the child while he was talking to his dad crying. That's disruption. Anyway. He was arrested and charged with disrupting a school function, possession of firearm on school ground, and aggravated assault with a weapon. So who did he actually assault? But what I understand, he didn't get the assault anybody because when he got there, he said he wanted to see the child, and they saw the butt sticking out. So who did he assault now? Anyway, you know they got to add these extra charges oh god so if you drop some charges he still gets up more than you well, I will drop this one but we still got some mm -hmm. anyway he was arrested and charged with disrupting okay I read that already the father currently being held on $75,000 bond it's unclear if the school investigated Freeman's claims that a teacher slammed his son they know the teacher slammed the son they know the teacher slammed the son the fact that he just come on the school ground and say, I want to see the teacher that slammed my son. The fact that the principal called the man, he already knew something was up. 
Because when they man slaying that child, I'm pretty sure that teacher probably went and tried to get his tail covered because the dad saw him snatch his child up on FaceTime. So, you know how it is. They, they, they demand that your kids go to school and then they attack and put these kids in danger. When you try to take care of them, then you go to jail for protecting your child while they get um, protected for attacking your child. But anyway, I said I was going to come back with the article that spoke about what happened. But my thing is, you can't just keep attacking and slamming children and then putting the parents in jail for just disciplining their own children or things accidentally happen to children, parent, parents go to jail. But you got willful, intentional teachers that just slam children, slam little girls. These little bodies just get slammed to the floor like a man. And nothing is done about it. It's just overlooked. Yes. Is that what they call that um, penal system? It's designed, it's designed that way to criminalize black bodies even when they are defending themselves. But nobody is going to sit there and just watch you attack their child. Like I say, nothing may happen to him because, you know, he's not allowed to come to school with an AK-47 and threaten people. I don't think this particular teacher will be slamming another child. But this is what I think. I think they should help get this guy out of jail. Because I don't think he was going to that school to shoot the teacher. He did, nah, nah, I don't know if he was going to shoot the teacher. But he was definitely going to confront <coughs> And if the teacher snatched him up out that wheelchair he's sitting in, it wouldn't have been good. But either way it goes. There was just no, there was just no winning in this situation, cause, cause, you can't just sit there and just watch your child be attacked. That, 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 that's a mental, that messes with your, that messes with your mental capacity to stay controlled. But then again, you go out there on oh, want to talk. They still arrest you, attack you, whatever, talk to you like you're stupid. I know, cause I went through it with kid with a daughter that was bullied. So we just tell her to, you know. Put the hand on you. Oh, well, you know what to do. And if anything big go down, call mama and daddy coming. Especially mama. But you can't just be attacking people's children. My kids in the school, teachers didn't attack children the way they are now. But it's our children were bullied and they were punished for retaliating because it's just, it's, it's just the thing to protect the bullies and the attackers and punish the victims who, and, and, and the lady and the principal actually said that retaliators, that children should never retaliate because the bully that is bullying and attacking them don't really want to fight. Of course not. They don't really want to fight. I can't believe she said that. I say, y'all need to handle the bullies. Because nobody gonna just sit there and just continue to be. We have seen children murder themselves because they can't deal with the bully because it's a it's against all laws of any kind on the planet to retaliate, respond in any way except to sit there and just get beat up. And that has changed. Uh, that's changed people, like I said, on the job. This girl, she got attacked on her job. She used to fight, beat butt. But she got attacked on her job. And she didn't say anything. She just sat there. And she didn't follow it up. And she tell, and, and she kind of threatened her, talking about, um, put your hand on me again. Don't put your hand on me again. So the girl walked off. And guess what happened? They both got fired. 
and the one that didn't retaliate got blackballed for starting the whole fight for I mean for being the aggressor and everything and that's the second time that's happened to that person the other person starts it they're the aggressor first time she fought the second time she didn't fight she she didn't retaliate she sit there she's like no she's about I don't know she hit me no more but like the first time all of the trouble come down on her but we know this system right here we in a new system and sometimes you gotta let God take over things and it'll happen it'll happen so there's no way I can just see this man sitting there watching his child be attacked on FaceTime and just not saying that had he not gone out there with a gun he would end up the same way. He would have still been arrested. But he wouldn't have been arrested for having an AK-47. But he would have still been arrested. Because he, been, he probably would have been thrown to the ground and shot. Had he not had an AK-1. Because we know. The only people I see getting gunned down and shot. Are people that don't have guns. If, if, you, if you got a gun. Then you, then you get arrested. <laughs> but if you don't have none. A cell phone or a slight movement of your hand or anything is threatened. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. But I just wanted to read the article um, because I heard on another video about this about this particular story. So I wanted to go pull it up and read it for myself. But anyway, they don't want to hear why. They don't want to hear why. That he claimed the teacher slammed the child. The child said that he was slammed. Apparently they're just overlooking the abuse and attack and assault of a child. They're overlooking that and arresting a parent who's there to protect his child. So we see, so we see what kind of world this is. But you know, some things you gotta just, the black community just gotta come together. You know, and some things you gotta let the universe take care of it, regardless. Now, I won't. Now, I see my child slam, I'm coming. I ain't coming with AK 47, but I'm coming. <laughs> so, so, you just know how you're gonna handle everything, just know there's consequences for everything, and there's no justice for anything. Okay, that's it for this video, and I will be back with another video. Bye.